Well, good morning, Mosaic. This is Adam here in Dearborn, and the word on the street is who I really am. You know, it feels like a lot of us are just spending our time online these days, right? In different meetings, maybe for work, you're working from home. Maybe you're trying to connect with your friends, but you're always online. One of the biggest platforms that uh, that we use on a daily basis is Zoom. And every day it feels like I've got at least a few meetings where I'm on Zoom. And in the beginning, it just felt super exhausting and I couldn't really figure out why. And then I figured out that just one of the, the tips or tricks for me that really, really worked was just going up to my picture and in the corner seeing those three dots, clicking on it and going down and saying, I wanted to hide my self view. I don't know what it is. I don't necessarily consider myself a very self-centered person, but but something told me that my eyes just continue to go back to me. And maybe I was focused on something that, that you know, I looked, I looked silly, I look old, I got something in my teeth, or maybe I was just focused on myself because I think a lot about myself. And I really think even though I'm not the one talking that I'm the center of the conversation, I don't know. But either way, it felt like when I went through there and hid myself, you all of a sudden now had unlocked what was really happening around me. I could really focus in better and, and really feel like I was with people and not just with myself. I, I don't know about you, but there's some days where I wish I could just hide myself view in real life. Like I wish I could wake up and I could click on those dots and just think, for today, I don't want to focus on myself. I don't want to focus on the things that I feel down about or the things that I feel like are insecurities or that I wish I was better at, that I could just focus in on who he really is in my life. Now, what's great about when we focus on God is that all of God's promises, a lot of God's promises, rather, actually revert back to us and who he sees us to be, which is really great because God is not this wonderful, awesome, powerful creature who thinks we are trash. God actually loves us. He thinks we're dear. But you know, he thinks us we are dear, not because that we are great, but because of him, because he is great. I wish we could hide that self-view. Whether we think a lot about ourselves or a little about ourselves, if we are the source of why we think about those things, man, we're always going to come up empty. But when we spend our time hiding our self-view and instead listening and looking at the content that God's given us around us, we're going to find out that, that he is a good, good, loving God, and he has made us a very loved people. Listen to this. I am God's child. I am adopted into his family. I am justified. I am a citizen of heaven. I am his mm -hmm. temple, and I am those things not because of me, because he is good. So how about today we hide our self view? How about we click in that corner, we hide our self view, we stop focusing on us, whether our insecurities, the things that we feel like we're low in, or maybe for some of us, we have to stop focusing on the things that we think we're really great at and that we are the supreme being in our own worlds and instead focus on him and focus on what he thinks about us, who I really am. I'm going to pray for us. Thank you, God, that you love us. Thank you, God, that you are not only strong and powerful and mighty, that you are an intimate and close and loving God. I pray that you would help us in our heart of hearts to hide that self-view, that we would instead focus on you. We would focus on your beauty and what you think about us, and more importantly, what you think about other people around us. As much as you love and cherish us, Lord, you love and cherish others. I pray, God, that you would help us to hide that self-view and instead give us the proper, heavenly, godly view, the one who, des who deserves every bit of our praise and honor and glory and attention and focus. We ask these things in your name, your powerful and matchless name, the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, love you, Mosaic. Have a great day. Hide that self-view.